Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today I have a new product to show you guys. It's a gaming laptop from Asus. It's a new budget series gaming laptop. The model is FX503V. I'm quite excited to unbox and check it out. It was launched recently in India and I finally got my hands on it. The FX503 comes in this simple box packing. You've got the Asus branding on the front. There's nothing much written on it. Let's check out the back side. You've got the specs of this laptop here. The model is FX503V. It has a 15.6 inch Full HD Ultra Slim LCD display, has a GDX 1050 graphics card with 4 GB of VRAM, comes with the Intel i7-7700HQ processor, has a 128 GB SSD paired with 1 TB of hard drive, has 8 GB RAM and comes with a 64 Watt hour battery. So these were the specs of this laptop. Let's get started with the unboxing. I want to thank ASUS for sending me this product for review purpose. Ok, in the box we have the FX503 at the top. Let me just take it out. The laptop comes nicely packed in this cotton cloth. Let me take it out of this cloth. The FX503 weighs about 2.5 kgs. It's not that heavy. You can easily carry it in your backpack. So this is the FX503 v gaming laptop from Asus. It looks quite nice. We'll just keep it aside for now and check out what else do we have in the box. We've got some paperwork over here. It's a user manual and a quick start guide. Now make sure to read them as it has complete info on the product. Along with that you get a power adapter for charging the laptop and a mains card for the adapter. So these were all the items we got in the box. Let's just keep the box aside and check out the laptop. The ASUS FX503 comes in black color. The whole body is completely made of plastic but doesn't look cheap from any angle. The build quality is nice. The top panel has the ASUS branding at the center and the panel has brushed aluminum kind of looks but that's actually plastic. You've got few LED indicators at the top portion of the laptop above the keyboard. Let me just show them to you. You've got an airplane mode indicator, HDD indicator, battery and a power indicator. Now let me show you the different ports available on it. On the left side you've got a DC in port, a LAN port, HDMI port, two USB 3.0 type A ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a left speaker. On the right side you've got another speaker, a multi-format card reader and one more USB 3.0 type A port. These were all the available ports on this laptop. Now let me show you how the bottom looks like. You've got four rubber foot pads at the bottom and this is the cooling section. It has a pair of copper heat pipes and employs a dual fan system. This is the storage section. You can easily remove this plate to access and upgrade your storage just by removing this single screw. Let's talk about the trackpad. The quality of the trackpad is nice. It's made of plastic. The accuracy is good. It had no dead zones and the quality of the buttons on it were also good. And coming to the keyboard. It has a chiclet keyboard with a striking red backlit LED lighting. It only has a single red color with a highlighted WASD keys. The key travel distance is 1.8 mm. It has an anti-ghosting keyboard with N key rollover and isolated arrow keys. The quality of the keys is good. They feel soft and clicky. And the brightness of the keyboard can also be quickly adjusted with the function buttons. Just like this. Now let me show you the display. It has a 15.6 inch Full HD anti-glare LCD panel. The bezels on it are quite thick. You've got the ASUS branding at the bottom over here and a HD webcam at the top that can shoot videos in 720p. Let me play a video and show you how the display looks like. The quality of the display was ok. It's a 1080p panel. The sharpness was good and the screen was also quite bright. But the colors weren't that accurate. I felt they were a bit washed out. It's ok for general gaming or watching videos, but it's not meant for photo editing or video editing. The display also has an anti-glare matte finish on it to cut down any reflections and glares which can be sometimes disturbing while gaming. That's a good thing they did there. Now let me show you the viewing angles. I feel the viewing angles were a little less on this laptop. Coming to the benchmarks, it got a single core score of 4173 and multi-core score of 12,685 on Geekbench 4. It's a pretty decent score for a gaming laptop of this price range. And it got an OpenCL score of 68,519. Now let's play a few games and check out the gaming performance. I'll be playing the games with this GameSir G4S gamepad. Let's first start off with Just Cause 3.
It's a graphic intensive game. I played the game in both medium and high settings. The gaming performance was good. The GTX 1050 was doing a good job. In medium graphic settings, I was getting about 55 frames per second on an average. And in high graphic settings, I was getting about 35 to 40 frames per second. I've also played Battlefield 1 on it. The gameplay was smooth. In medium graphic settings, I was getting about 50 to 55 frames per second. And in high graphic settings, got an average of 40 frames per second. So mostly this laptop is made to play games smoothly at 1080p medium graphic settings. After playing the games for a while, it was getting quite hot in the top portion near the exhaust area. And the fan noise was also high at heavy gaming loads. And did I tell you about the speakers on this laptop? The speaker quality was very good. It has built-in stereo speakers, one on the left and the other one on the right. They are powered by ice power technology. The audio quality was good, it was loud and clear and the distortion was also less even at max volume. Talking about the battery life, the battery life was decent. It has a 64 watt hour battery. If you play games in high performance mode with the brightness set to 50%, you'll get about 40 to 50 minutes of battery life. And if you use it for general tasks like browsing the web or watching videos on YouTube with the brightness set to 50%, then you'll get about 6 to 7 hours of battery life. So that was my review on the ASUS FX503B gaming laptop. It's a good gaming laptop for the price. The build quality was fine, the gaming performance was good, the speakers were really nice and the battery life was also decent. The only thing I wasn't satisfied was with the display. I just wish ASUS gave a good display like an IPS panel. The pricing of this laptop starts from 69,900 rupees depending on the model. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below, you can check it out there. So that was it for today, thanks for watching this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.